And let's start, if you don't mind, with the Chargers. Now, every year there's reason seemingly, seemingly, to be optimistic about the Chargers. And this is just one of those years. Now, I can't tell you that their defense is going to be a lot better. I, I think it's going to be better, but I don't know if I could say a lot better. But I think that the injection of Kellen Moore into that offense, you know, with Justin Herbert is really going to be a positive for them. These two guys are so much on the same page that even back in OTAs in June, you know, as Brandon Staley and Moore pointed out to me in a little film session, they, Kellen Moore is completing, or Justin Herbert is completing Kellen Moore's sentences, you know, before he is finished saying them. And so I think they've got a lot of good things going. Herbert has got an amazing arm. He's got, an, he's got great talent. He's a tough guy who plays through broken ribs. I think this year he will have the best numbers of any quarterback in the NFL. And that is a bold statement, Peter, because here's my big picture view of the Chargers. And this is a very timely, modern, and hip reference, which I trot out every time this year in recent years as it relates to the Chargers. Roseanne, Rosanna, Dana, they are that team in the NFL because with them, it's always something. And it yeah. is always something with the Chargers. Every time you think they're just about to turn it around, something happens. Injuries, and I think they've got some deep injury issues that they have yet to fully address and cure. But, yeah, on paper, they look great. And, man, bringing in Kellen Moore, who got fired by the Cowboys. Maybe he could turn it around. Now, if he turns it around too well and saves Brandon Staley's job, who's one of the guys clearly on the hot seat this year with a guy who's making $52.5 million per year as his quarterback, and it can't be his fault if it doesn't work out. It's got to be the coach's fault. But if Kellen Moore saves the day, somebody's going to want to hire Kellen Moore to be the head coach possibly. That's the problem. When you got a young quarterback and a defensive coach, the better the team is, the more likely you need a revolving door at offensive coordinator because your coordinator is going to go be a head coach for working with this great quarterback. So I don't dispute the possibility. I just know recent history tells me there's just something that's off with the Chargers. And until they admit it and do a deep dive to figure out what the root cause is and try to fix it, it's never going to go away. It's always going to rear its ugly head in some form or fashion. And I agree with you. It could be great. But I have to pay attention to what's happened the past five years. It's always something. I totally understand, and there's a good reason why you think that. And Justin Herbert doesn't play defense. Justin Her Herbert doesn't decide when to go for it on fourth down. What I'm saying is that he's about, I don't know, it's something like 3,200 yards over the last two years, 3,200 yards behind Patrick Mahomes, like nine yards per game, or 320 yards, excuse me, 320 yards. He's like nine yards a game behind Patrick Mahomes. And I just think they bring in Quentin Johnson, the, the, the receiver from TCU in the first round, because they've had receiver injuries. So they're kind of backstopping and making sure that they're going to have enough weaponry for this high-powered passing offense. The only other thing I would say about the Chargers that, that interests me coming into this year I think that in the first two years, or in the last couple of years, if you look at you know, Brandon Staley with a guy, Joe Lombardi, as his offensive coordinator, not really a philosophical great marriage, okay? You know, they see the game a little bit different. And I think now that he's got Kellen Moore in there, they're very simpatico, uh, they very they very much see the game in the same way. And I don't know what that means exactly. I do think they're going to score, if not a lot more points, they're going to score more points. But again, you're absolutely right. This is a team that has to be much better on defense, particularly in the games when they count. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.